Hey guys, so for this video, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me because I actually bought some makeup recently and I did a haul and if you haven't seen it, I will link it down below so you can watch it. And I've actually really been enjoying using the makeup that I got and I wanted to use some of them in this video so that you can really see how they work and how they apply on the skin. This look that I'm gonna do is the makeup look that I've been wearing almost every day recently and I've really been liking it and I've been getting compliments uh, whenever I wear it so I thought I would do it for you. So of course I'm gonna start everything with my foundation with my Clinique Beyond Perfecting uh, foundation and I've really been liking this foundation. I was actually wearing it um, the other day and I was with my mom and she kept looking at my makeup and she kept saying that your makeup looks nice today and I was like thank you and then on the third time she was like your makeup looks really nice today what foundation are you wearing and I said uh Clinique and she was like oh that's why <laughs> so it's really a great product my mom is not someone who's easily impressed with how someone does their makeup, she has very high standards. So when she complimented my makeup, I was like, yeah, this is a good thing. This is a good product. So I got my makeup addiction from her actually, just watching her do her makeup when I was a kid. Now I'm not gonna use any other concealer. I'm just gonna use the same foundation and I'm just gonna apply um, another layer on some areas where I need more coverage. And that's underneath my eyes. And ever since I got this, I actually haven't been really using any other concealer underneath my eyes because I find that when I put uh, too much concealer, especially like right up into my lower lashes, it makes my eyes seem smaller and I prefer my eyes looking bigger and more awake. <clears throat> so I've just been using this and it brightens up the area but it still looks pretty natural. I'm just going to set everything with some powder. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to be using my Clinique uh, Lid Pop in shade Petal Pop and it's this really really pretty um, pink eyeshadow with gold shimmer all over it and I've been wearing this non-stop ever since I got it. So I'm just going to put this all over my lid. It's such a pretty shimmery wash of color. I'm just going to put that on. For my crease, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Color Tattoo leather in creamy beige like this. I've really been loving using this on my crease because it's matte but it blends really easily because it's a very creamy formula so I'm just gonna start from the outer V of my eye I'm just gonna use circular motion to put the product in and then I'm just gonna drag it all the way up halfway through my crease. Now normally I would stop there but I'm feeling a little fancy today. So I'm gonna take my um, Wet n Wild palette in the shade Walking on Eggshells and I'm just gonna take the crease color which is a really pretty shimmery that, a really pretty shimmery um, bronze color. I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm just going to put that on top of the um, color tattoo. Ta 
lastly, from the same palette, I'm just going to take the Brow Bone color, which is a shimmery white color, and I'm going to use that as a highlight on my brow bone. And I'm also going to put a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes. Next, we're going to move on to brows, which you've seen me do so many times already, and it's the same thing. I'm just, I'm just going to be using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. Every time I would like look at old pictures of me, especially like during college days, one of the things that I notice the most is how much doing my eyebrows changed my whole look because of course back then I didn't really do my eyebrows and you know I had like light brown hair and then black haired eyebrows and it just looks so bad so eyebrows can really change your whole look it just makes you look so put together and you know like like you give a care in the world so now I rarely go out of the house without doing my brows because it just really lifts up your whole face and I actually used to do my eyebrows a lot thicker than this but lately I've really been liking the more natural look like before my mom would always tell me your eyebrows are too thick and I just didn't care because I was like well that's the look I'm going for I like them really thick but now I'm just really sort of following the natural size and shape of my brows and I'm just gonna set everything with some tinted brow gel so next we're gonna move on to face makeup which is my second favorite part next to doing my eyebrows we're gonna start off with contour so I'm using my NYX matte bronzer and I'm also gonna put some on my jawline because I also really like contouring my jawline now instead of me doing my usual way of putting uh, my NYX bronzer on the perimeter of my face I'm actually going to be using a new product today and that's the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I got this recently and I absolutely love it as a bronzer this is definitely too light for me as a contour so I wouldn't recommend that if you have the same skin tone as I do but it's a really beautiful bronzer especially now that summer is coming up if you put this all over your face, you're just really going to look so sun-kissed and glowy. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off on my cheeks, on top of my um, contour. So again, I'm really using this as a bronzer instead of a contour. And this just really warms up my whole face. And it gives it life. And, and as you can see, it just instantly warmed up my face. And it smells so good. It smells like coconut. And I know it's too light, but it's very buildable. So as you can see, that's what I've been doing. I just can't stop putting it on my face because I just absolutely love bronzer. And... If I'm not lazy, I would do the whole, you know, line here, but most days I just take my contour brush and I just put it on the sides of my nose. Now for blush, I'm also super excited to show you this. This is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso and I've been on the hunt for this blush for the longest time. I finally got one from Pop Culture and Trinoma. And it's such a really beautiful peachy pink glowy blush. I'm just gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks. Perfect for summer because once summer comes in, I think um, it's time to bring out those 
peachy toned blushes again and it has a little bit of shimmer to it but it's very very subtle that's why it just gives a really beautiful glow to the skin and for highlight i'm gonna use my trusty mary luminizer I'm just gonna put that on the high points with a bad highlight high points of my cheeks yes i'm someone who loves Highlighter like I don't really like subtle highlighters and then on the bridge of my nose Here and to withdraw There just on the high point. So just to sort of tie the whole look together. I'm gonna go back in with my petal pop um, Eyeshadow and you can actually use this as highlighter as well or even as a blush topper so I think I'm gonna put a little bit on top of my uh, Mary Luminizer and it's just gonna give a really really pretty golden pinky highlight although it's actually quite subtle because the Mary Luminizer is just so pigmented but it sort of mellows down the champagne tone of the Mary Luminizer it makes it a little more golden and pinky yeah, I think I'm going to put a little bit on my brow bone as well, just to tie the whole look together. For my mascara, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Fall Slash Waterproof Miss Manga Mascara. And this is a really great product, both for volume and length. And my sister was actually wearing this one time, and we went to the mall. And every time we would enter a makeup store, the sales staff there would ask her what mascara she was wearing. And it was this. So, if you have makeup staff asking you what mascara you're using, I think that's a good sign. See, you can instantly see the difference of this from this. Um, this can get quite clumpy if you're not careful with it. So, um, make sure to layer it evenly. Like put some and then wait for it to dry a bit and then put another layer. Now for my lips, I'm going to be using the Clinique Long Last Gloss Wear in Bamboo Pink. And since summer is coming up, I'm really excited to wear lip glosses again. And this is a really, really pretty um, nude pink lip gloss. It's actually quite sticky but I can live with it because it's just so pretty like it's pretty on its own but you can also use it as a lipstick topper so this is a finished look. This is a very usual everyday makeup for me because I don't really like wearing dark, heavy makeup. I like to keep my makeup pretty natural. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking down there and don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. It's uh, Denise Yalom on Instagram and on Twitter. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!